Yo, I got a rocket ship. Hey, but what's up? What's it? Nah, nah, yeah, yeah. My man got the hands. Hit him with the uppercut. Clearly, I'm not doing it correctly. What? Where that fat guy was trapped from part one? In the barbed wire trap? My man is definitely not as big as that guy though. You telling me you couldn't fit? You weak. You weak, dog. Some ways through the asylum are more dangerous than others. Man, that's pretty obvious. Oh! Oh! Sometimes you have to look at a problem from a completely different perspective. That's true. I'm telling you, my man be getting oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes you have to look at a problem from a completely different perspective. You know what that shit reminds me of? You know when A Boogie was like, Sometimes you gotta think about things the way you don't wanna think about things. And your boy Big Mike asked him, What that mean? My man said, I don't even know. Jig Soldier said that same shit. Oh shit. Yo, you came down to me. You came down to me. <laughs> Bing. Y'all feel bad? Should I be his ass or what? He can't even climb a ladder right. I should fuck him up. My man is whoa. Oh, my man is a magician, dog. Rock him. Rock him. Rock him. Rock. Bing. Slow, now you can see two of me. That's just creepy. Look at that bozo ass nigga think he me. He ain't me. He think he me just because he wearing the same shirt and got the same lips. What up, baby? How are you? Justin, I appreciate you viewing. I appreciate everybody viewing. I came in with the intention of ranting about Spyro from the Book of Saw while we play in this game. Although this is a story-driven game, so I don't want to get in the way of this. I don't want to get in the way of the story. But I was just talking to Nova Talks, who's in my commentary in one of my earlier videos, my breakdown for trailer number two. And he was stating how it would pretty much piss him off. If it didn't have like a substantive connection to John Kramer and to Saul. The whole name of the franchise, right? But I think it is crucial that they called it Spiral and not Saul. Because it, at least it gives them more wiggle room to be its own thing. It doesn't have to necessarily follow every single beat. But it has to follow certain beats for sure. It has to have a twist. It has to have a sick track when that twist and revelations is coming through. The killer has to be not only menacing, but has to have a legitimate motivation. It can't just be like every other apprentice. They've just been pretty much, you know, um, perversing his philosophy and and just doing whatever they want if it benefits them. Like Logan, Hoffman, Amanda. They didn't really give people a chance, you know, what Jigsaw did. But anyway, let's head to that game, baby. So, let me head to the game. Bye. Ooh. Okay. Oh, God. Stop it, please. Hello, Jennings. While the intoxicated you hit and killed... Well, I'm not going to lie. I was playing this a little bit. As a forensic scientist, and you knew just the, this, this, you this puzzle is great. Killed. It's absolutely so, great. Whoever's here, welcome. Don't hesitate to ask any sore questions. Any of that. That's what we're here to talk about. Remember that John Kramer's... I mean, let me let you hear this. Even though I'm probably going to fail a few times so. Okay. Okay, what the hell? Okay, you can get it. Back. Alright. So what 
I have to do here, I have to find the right gear. You could probably infer that. Oh, see my brain's working already. Oh! Yo, 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 relax! Relax, bro. That's my boy. That's my boy Jennings, yo. I'm not gonna let him go like that. So, your boy, my boy Jennings is around. Oh. oh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Okay. for your boy, son. Oh, man. I think your man is a goner, yo. Shit. Shut up. Shit. Well, he's got to be big boy. Mmm, that's a great question, Justin. Who do I think is carry on as well while I figure this, this uh, puzzle out? Well, I believe that is crucial to the success of the movie. If the connection is not substantive and it, it's going to be just a random person, then the connection has to be that he left him a book, right? It's called the Book of Salt. Okay. Okay. But anyway, it's it's called the Book of Soul, right? So I think that is crucial no matter what. Um, so I have a couple theories. So if you've seen if you've seen all the movies, let me know if you didn't. But if you've seen some of the behind the scenes, even the Saw Twitter page, they dropped some pictures. He looks frail, and obviously the killer doesn't have to be powerful. It just that he he or she has to be extremely intelligent and have an actual motive. You know, it can't just be a fucking sick motherfucker who just wants to kill everybody. It has to have a legit motivation. So if I'm looking back at the history, you got Daniel Matthews, right, from Saw 2, who was the kid who was locked up in the safe, who you find out in the end of the movie. Um, he would be old enough that it would fit um, age-wise that he could actually do it. Um... I'm not entirely sure of age-wise this fits, but the little girl from Saw 3, she's definitely um, a candidate. And you got to consider that Jigsaw was 10 years after the death of Jigsaw, I mean the death of Saw, which is when that little girl was discovered. Um, so 10 years, I'm not too sure when this movie takes place. So I believe that fits Daniel Matthews or the little girl. Um, I've even heard somebody say Eleanor from Eleanor from Jigsaw. You know what I'm saying? You hear this dude? Hurry the fuck up! I don't even want to help him. That's how much of a dick he is. Bro. See, this one's easy. I got this one. Get that in my memory of the dome piece. Okay, so I'm not... this dude sucks. I hate this dude. We get in there, Justin. We get in there, baby. Jennings, we got you, bro. I'm just gonna have to give me a second, cuz I never saw my grand work Oh! This game legit gives you no, no wiggle, son. Okay, I need some of the time, so. Oh, 
He don't make it as easy, man. <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> it makes it extremely hard when you just hear this dude saying in the background, Hurry the fuck up! That pressure... That pressure, bro. Oh God. Stop it, please. That pressure's real, man. Hello, Jennings. While the intoxicated you hit and killed a homeless man with your car. As a forensic scientist, you knew just... What am I saving this guy for? He ran over a hobo. Could you? He probably deserves what he's getting, bro. Playing games, bro. Uh, this one's easy. You know my, my free brain is good. I hate this dude. I just started it. You see how imp impatient this dude is? Please,
starting to get it too in my brain. Still stuck here, man. Some of these are just going to the back of my mind, so this one is really where I gotta focus on. Easy Jennings, you're just reacting Yo, to the shot. Just I just saved you. Down. You fuck! You fucker! You're the reason he picked me! You! Me? You killed a man. You a murderer. He was homeless. He didn't have a family. He meant nothing to anyone. What about the innocent man you put in prison? But what about his family? But it didn't have to come to that. I told you just walk away. But no. Had to get your arrest. You, you put me in a corner, Tab. I just did what I had to do. What you had to do? <clears throat> Destroy two people to protect your way of life? At least I have something to protect. You know what, Tap? We're all here because of you. So save me the preaching, all right? I'm not dying, so you can catch the boogeyman. You deserve <clears throat> it. Oh shit.
face a greater challenge with your sight intact. Make your choice quickly. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs located all around you will detonate. <laughs> My worst enemy. My worst enemy. I told you. I told you that was my fucking worst enemy. Yeah, so like I was stating, Spiral looks incredible. The tone. If it wasn't for that voice, I think it would be a 10 out of 10. The voice is still, they gotta take me some time. Listen to this voice and compare it to what we're listening to this part. With your sight intact, make your choice quickly. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs located all around you will detonate. From Make your choice quickly. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs located all around you will detonate. Time is of the essence, Detective. I think I got this thing. My balance of skills is there. I'm good. Disease, wash your hands. Yo, this is crazy. This game came out in 2009. No, that's cray cray. You're not gonna tell me that's not cray cray. That is cray cray. Wow, let me spread diseases. It's not the COVID, it's the first disease of all time. Come across so dense, but <laughs> I'm saying. Oh, I'm like, oh, fuck a COVID. I gotta worry about these. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go back. I presume. So slow, that shit. You gotta be quick with it. You gotta time it right. Out of here. Right here, baby. I hate these things, though. I can't fly. Okay.
Predicted John Rivera, they predicted the Rona. Yo, John Rivera, yo. Appreciate you. That's a fact. That's why I pointed that one up. They fucking predicted the wrong easy, son. So now we know where the Rona came from. It came from the solve video games, bro. Tapings are really impressive though. I bet. I like that. I'm going to the blind way. My man John want me to go to blind. I'm out to blind, baby. Oh, see? I'm fucking me up now. Ooh, this is sick. I switched. Oh, I gotta shut up. Hold up. What he was saying? But look, I switched the lighter for the camera. And if you've seen Saw, Saw 1, right, with Adam, he was a photographer. A bunch of just thinking about investigations in general. Um, a huge part of that is photography, especially investigative photography. So they switched it to this. Ooh, I think that's just fucking dope. Reminds me of when Amanda shocked Adam in the room and, and took him. Oh shit. Oh man, maybe I should have had the lighter. Oh. Nah, I'm wilding. Nah. Did I switch the shit for the lighter? Uh, oh, nah, this shit's some scary shit, dog. Nah. I feel like a pig's map. Oh, nah. See, now I'm just walking into walls. Nah. Nah, I gotta look out for a trippy wall or something. Yo. I'm not a predicting man, but my prediction is that I'm going to blow out. I made it? Oh, oh, they sealed it, you bastard. You goddamn bastard. It's so... Oh, my God, that's so cool. You see what the hell you got me into, John? man got me into the blind side. Now I'm scared. Not only am I scared, I don't know where to go. Oh, it's a wrap. I'm done. Why do I say goodbye to yesterday? Why do I say goodbye to yesterday? I lost. I'm a bum. I think <laughs> tragic. <laughs> that's tragic, bro. You need the lighter right now. You deserve the lighter right there. Why do I? It's 
So I think because I let go of the lighter, this camera ain't the way. Each will test your faith. Will you continue blindly or will you face greater challenges? You got this though. With your sight intact, make your choice quickly. When the time reaches zero, the bombs located all around you will detonate. So what is your favorite Saw movies, guys? Justin and Don, what are your favorite Saw movies? And what's your favorite Saw twist? There's so many good twists in the Saw series, but I think my favorite twist is the Saw 4 twist when they were saying when uh, you found out Saw 4 and 3 happened at the same time. It's like, how could this dude do it while he's dead? Well, he did most of it before he was dead. He set things in motion. My man was a genius. An evil genius. But a genius nonetheless. I'm out of here. The man's gonna try to turn me into chop suey. Don't worry though. I'm gonna wait. Bing! Fuck my. So I do remember, I do believe. And then we discovered that water came from this saw warehouse. And remember, this shit is all filled with pigs, if you know the lore of Jigsaw. So, I don't know, swine flu came from pigs, so it ain't with the crazy realm of possibility. Yeah, conspiracy theories on my channel, baby. If you wanna really know the real. <laughs> man's about to turn me into a boy's head hand. Nope. Not me. Alright. So this is life or death right here. Alright. So I gotta turn these lights on. Okay. How can I turn this one? I don't turn it on, what? Oh, that actually makes sense. I got it. Let's go! Oh. So the man still got me moving? Come on, Jigsaw. Yes, sir. I gotta let go of that. See the game new. How the game? Woo! I made it. Let's go. You know what I like too? That it actually tells you each door is sealed because you don't know. Sometimes you go to a game and every door you go to, it don't tell you that. So you go to each and every door, thinking you can open it. See sealed, so I don't gotta waste my time. Huh? Oh shit. It's good. I got so quiet though. Y'all notice that? Yo, how many TVs my man Jigsaw got? He must have worked at a Blockbuster or something when he was a kid or some shit. Remember, he's old. Blockbuster was the shit when he was the thing, bro. My man was a manager at Best uh, at Blockbuster. Nobody knows that part of his history. That's a fact. He worked at Best Buy, bro. He was working at Geek Squad. They didn't want to give him a raise. Then he got cancer. Then he lost his baby. Then he wanted to commit suicide and became Jigsaw. That's, I think, is what's going to find out. Spiral, that was his manager. By Oswin McGillicuddy. <laughs> That's a funny name. 
McGilly Cuddy. Yo, he sound gangster. McGilly Cuddy. I'm obviously mispronouncing it, I'm sure. If it wasn't bad enough that there is a killer out there mashing up taxpayers into itty bits, now we have the cops to worry about too. To his own admission, Detective David Tapp completely disregarded the process and went rogue, convincing his partner, Detective Steven Singh, to join him in an unwarranted um, entry to catch the Jigsaw Killer. That is technically true. Not only did they break into Jigsaw's secret hideout without a warrant, but they didn't wait for any backup either, probably hoping to get all the glory for themselves. Damn, I don't know about all that. He was just really obsessed, bro. And then, well, Jigsaw got the drop on them. Slicing Tap's throat from ear to ear, nailing Singh in the top of the head with a double barrel shotgun. Damn. And they really got real newspaper clippings. Fire. Nah, this game, this game is fire. We got so many callbacks to the movies. The patients are beginning to demand the religious area in the asylum where they can pray. It's ironic, there's so many connections to religion and to cults. That could be where Spiral from the Book of Saul could be heading, right? It's literally called Spiral from the Book of Saul. Why would they call it from the Book of Saul when it's a movie franchise? That's like calling it Saul from the comic book of Saul. The book of Saul is just a, is a clue. Right? And I don't think uh, Spiral from the movies of Saul would have been a good title. That just sounds like a parody. So, so from the book of Saul has to have a connection, right? So we'll see. Let's go in here. Oh! I'm from the Bronx and rats still scare me, bro. The rats is mad big. Those are some big ass rats. Like, what the fuck? Those are some of thorns. Jigsaw, don't, I don't know. My Jigsaw could even sell this shit up when there's big ass rats down here. Man, Jigsaw is just petting them. You want to play a game, Stuart Little? Those some, those shits is not Stuart Little. Them shits was, they will fuck Stuart Little up. They'll beat the shit. How the fuck did Stuart Little uh, get into a Saw Spring discussion? Anyway, that is what you get with me. Okay, so now the TV's on. Detective Steven Singh, you bastard. Goddamn bastard, you're gonna show me. You're gonna show me his tomb, you piece of shit. Maybe I gotta break the wall. Bop. you doing, son? Nah, you good? Nah, my man's done. My man is done. Okay. Oh. This is what happens to those who fail their tasks or make the wrong oh, choice. You this man is creative, y'all. Yo, I think so. I think that's a good idea. My man John's coming with the good ideas. I think so. Why not? Let's see how long it takes me to finish this one. So I got three minutes. Okay. Oh, shit. 
this like a five or three. Nah, there's gotta be a better way to read this shit. Yup. They're gonna want me to turn this on. Oh shit. Now I gotta figure out the combination. See, you know the concept of ray tracing? I don't know how much you guys know about ray tracing, but this would have been a great implementation of ray tracing. Could have had the, the 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 symbols reflect on the water, and uh, that could have been a way to figure it out. I think it's a wrap. No wonder they gave you three minutes. And put the comment. There's many different numbers, yo. Could I look at it from a different perspective? I can look at this from a different perspective. Hey Boogie again with the fucking quotes. Sometimes you gotta think about things the way you don't wanna think about things. That's the quote of the stream. Oh, it's so let's sing it together. Why do I say the man to yesterday? Oh man. My man did the heroin addict drop. But he actually touched the ground because that's different. You know they're real gymnasts up in here. That's exactly what it is, bro. This is what happens to those who fail their tasks or make the wrong choice. You cannot save this man, but you can save yourselves. Find the combination to open his cage and reroute the power back to the doors. Mm. But do so quickly when he touches the water. You don't share his fate. How's a piece on the floor? How's a piece on the floor? How's a piece on the floor? What the fuck does that mean?
corner and shit. It's all about perspective, right? What the fuck? How much time I got left? I got a minute. Use your brain, right? Yeah, they gotta be. How many other pellet peels? One, two, three, four. So there's four puzzle pieces, three numbers, so I guess not. <clears throat> but maybe the perspectives I'm supposed to look at is from these puzzle pieces. So what's this? Three, six, five. So let's try three, six, five. makes this game fun though you gotta use your pinochle you gotta use your you know your peanut the numbers are probably by the puzzle pieces This might be it. I think I found it. Four, three, five. Let's see if my brain. Let's see if I'm up there. Let's see if I'm. Four, three, five. Four, three, five. I'm telling you, I could be jigsaw myself. Let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. Oh shit, I'm not done. Oh shit, because I never looked for the copy. Holy gun. Holy shit. Oh, I got a minute and 26 seconds. Let's go. Alright, I gotta turn on these lights. Actually, this one doesn't seem too difficult. you one of his favorite things to say was you got to see what he sees see what I see you want to play a game
his partner's carelessness. He ran into a trap. I did not kill him. You booby trapped the house. His death is your fault. The defenses I prepared would have easily been disabled by police procedure. But those procedures were ignored. Who do you think ignored them? Trap! That son of a bitch! You know it's a crazy part of Jigsaw's philosophy. He was, a, um, he was anti bureaucracy, bureaucracy. He was anti corporation. I don't know if he was anti corporation, but he was definitely anti the medical industry, anti insurance brokers, uh, making decisions for patients. Uh, he would have definitely been voted for Bernie Sanders. Trust. you I bring the connections Stu a little Bernie Sanders Jigsaw I'm writing the documentary in my mind already oh bing 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 you slow oh no I'm gonna have to rock uppercut his uppercut is lethal bro I am trying to make you understand you notice that he uppercut his armpit Yo, he was a white Tupac. That's a better way to put it. My man's a poet. Yo, that's some creepy shit. You creepy, dog. Oh, I could have pressed that button this whole time. Nah. So what the fuck I've been doing, son? Found your God? Oh. Wait the rules. Fail the game. I'm not trying to break no rules, Jigsaw. I'm just trying to be a better me. So I appreciate life. So you don't put me in a game. I have a question for you guys. <clears throat> Do you appreciate your life? And if you do, would Jigsaw put you in the game? And if he would put you in the game, why would he put you in the game? That look like it hurt. Sympathectomy? What the hell is that? Sesto, our experimental remote sympathectomy are going rather well. Yo! That is the technical term for being a simp. When you're going through sympanostromy, you're going through sympathectomies, yo. You can't be a simp, because then you're going to get a symptomectomy. You feel me? I'm telling you, I'm bringing medical advice too. I'm diverse. All right. That looks like a door I gotta go through. Oh shit. Holy shit. Oh shit, my feet. Oh no, I can't. Ah oh, shit, I just wasted it. Horror is a fickle thing in these old asylums. Damn, my man was still in. My man was still in honey buns. You got a gun? Oh, I have a gun though. I have a gun though. Yo, I got. Oh. So right. Come on, Jigsaw. I'm not gonna front though. Look at my feet on the floor.
That's tragic. Yeah, that's tragic. Yeah, he took himself off. My man said, No. That cannot be. Decision, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just let you rock. Cause what am I supposed to do? Stop it! Nah, this is gonna be hard. I really got life. Okay, is this one? Okay. was gonna be a hard one. Why would Jigsaw make me play the game? That serious? For being a slog. I don't know if you know, I watched the movie Seven, which they say have a lot of it has a lot of connections to Saul in many ways. Um, and it has, it's a huge inspiration to Spiral that's coming out. So if you want to see that, check it out. I recommend the Seven with Morgan Freeman and and Brad Pitt. And in that movie, he was talking about all the seven deadly sins, and one of them is sloth. And that's like not caring about yourself or um, not caring about others. But for me, it would mostly be not really caring about myself to a hundred percent, which is something I'm always working about. You got to care about yourself more than more than other people. If you don't care about yourself, no one else would. So I think that's what they put me in the game. And I don't know what the game will be though. That'd be crazy. Horror is a fickle thing in these old asylums. Sorry, I only have enough for me. Damn, Holmes. I gotta get away because I'm a shit. This was intense. Right there. Makes it worse that they got the fucking puppet laughing in the background. So right when you meet your aunt, when you meet your maker, they right here. Oh shit! See, this is why I don't win. Let's grab the bugs. 
But next time I know I got that serum, I got the super soldier serum. Tell me. See how fast I can figure this one out. is eerie so
it say? <laughs> you get blasted in this game.
Like not being bums and we deem on ourselves and getting the dub, let me know if I just... Okay. But we ain't hear it being no fable. I came here to see if actually my shit was actually downloaded. Yeah, it was actually. Spread disease, wash your hands. Yo, this is crazy. This game came out in 2009. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see if I can put that. Combat Give me the key. Yo, I got a rocket ship. Ah. Hey, but what's up? What's it? Uh, no, yeah, yeah. My man got the hands. Hit him with the uppercut. Clearly, I'm not doing it correctly. What? Where that fat guy was trapped from part one? In the barbed wire trap? My man is definitely not as big as that guy, though. You telling me you couldn't fit? You weak. You weak, dog. Some ways through the asylum are more dangerous than others. Man, that's pretty obvious. Oh! Oh! Sometimes Good. Like Don't spread disease. Wash your hands. Yo! Oh! This is what crazy. <laughs> this game came out in 2009. So yeah, man, that's crazy, crazy. You know what that shit reminds me of? You know when A Boogie was like, sometimes you gotta think about things the way you don't wanna think about things. And your boy Big Mike asked him, what that mean? My man said, I don't even know. Jigsaw just said that same shit. Oh shit. It's like, uh, yo, you came down to me. You came down to me. <laughs> Bing. Y'all feel bad? Should I be his ass or what? He can't even climb a ladder right. I should fuck him up. scare me, bro. My man is the whoa. Oh, my man is a magician, dog. Rock him. Rock him. Rock him. Rock. Bing. Slow now, you can see two of me. That's just creepy. Look at that bozo ass nigga think he me. He ain't me, he think he me just because he play. Let's go. <laughs> I, I dropped that to crack him, bro. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, shit. People always think their actions affect no one else. But the 
fucking sucks right now. Give me that to my veins. I need that. Give me all that. Give me some Wawa. Got nothing for me. CM Punk. You feel alive yet? What you think you're gonna do, CM Punk?
little bit.
see how to climb these steps. Whenever, baby. So this is going to be my last run. So let's make this one count, baby.
so small here it's so small but uh, anyway i had a great